The year was 1928, and the average life expectancy from birth is 47 years. Infectious diseases accounted for the high mortality rate worldwide. The only weapon we had in our fight against bacteria was our own immune system. Hospitals were full of patients with blood poisoning contracted from a cut or scratch, and there was little to nothing doctors could do in order to help them. But all this would soon change when a careless lab technician would make a foolish mistake. Upon coming back from his two weeks holiday, Sir Alexander Fleming, a Scottish researcher who at the time was experimenting with the influenza virus, found a plate he accidentally left contaminated with Staphylococcus with mould on it. An embarrassing mistake that most lab technicians would safely hide upon discovery. However, Fleming observed the mould under a microscope and noticed that the mould prevented the growth of the bacteria. Upon further inspection, the Scottish scientist determined that the mould belonged to the penicillium gene. He gave the active agent in the mould the name of penicillin and subsequently his mistake kick-started the antibiotic era. Throughout World War II, countless lives, which would have been lost to infection, would be saved by antibiotics. In fact, until then, the major killer in war wasn't injuries, but rather infection. In World War I, the death rate from pneumonia was 18%, but after Fleming's discovery, it fell to less than 1%. Life expectancy at birth rose from 47 to 79 years in the US, and an estimated 80 million to 200 million people were saved worldwide by the discovery of penicillin, something that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for a careless accident. It's easy to forget that mistakes are the pillars of our world, the sails to our boats, torches lighting away through darkness. So the next time you make a mistake, don't let it upset you. Think of how you can learn from it. As Samuel Beckett famously put it, try again, fail again, fail better.